this one's the channel and if you're new and if you like you want to subscribe just click on that subscribe button and you'd be doing me a favor and help me get some more subscribers which would be nice so I can get to my content out to more people right today we're um, we've hit the driving range uh, due to the fact that it's done nothing but camera's on straight there nothing but rain here the last uh, two weeks so our friends down here at the drive range have kindly lent me the new Vokey SM8 which we're going to try I think we've got a 56 and a 60 degree so we're going to see them see how good they are because I do like my Vokey wedges um, so we're going to see a look at the new Vokey wedges and uh, we'll see how we go see how high we can get them if they feel right so stay tuned we'll have a cousin wedges Okay, right, guys so we have the SM8 5614F here and the SM7 5614F here. So we're going to see what the difference is. Um, if you look at the back of that one, look at the logo there, and if you look at the SM7, the logo is smaller. I actually think the logo a bit bigger there and obviously it's got the Vokey design on the new version just here which um, makes it look a really nice club that, I do like that um, so let's hit a few and see what happens right, so the SM8 first 14F, whatever the 14F means I have a clue Right, not very well with shots on this, but probably I've not played golf in over two weeks. So we're going to try the SM7 version. Well right, guys, after a couple of shots, um, you are getting good height on it. It just doesn't, I don't know, compared to the old one I had, it just doesn't feel, feels, I don't know, I can't give a word to say what it feels like. Lump, oh, so, no, there's a word for it, but I can't think what it is. It just doesn't. Just doesn't feel right in the hands for some reason. Hi right, guys, so we've hit a few hits there. Um, not my best golf because uh, I've not played. It's just nice clubs. I do like the design. Um, but I just can't hit them today for some reason. But would I buy one? I'll probably go down for the S7 now and then obviously in 12 months time when they bring out a new one I would look at it because I do think it is a good looking club I do like the Vokey design bit at the back uh, so that's the um, the new Vokey ones and I've also got my hands on a Cleveland mid 10 at 56 degrees as well so I'll just show you this you can see it 
Never, 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 never bothered with Cleveland's before. So, uh, let's hit a few balls and see what happens. Alright, that's a few hits of the Cleveland, which is the what's that, RTX 4, 56, 10, it's M, either MID or MIO, I don't know, um, dynamic gold tour issue shaft, and out of the two, for some reason, I'm just... Walk over here a bit with it. So out of the two, out of the Cleveland and the Vokey, I think I'd probably go for the Cleveland. It just feels feels nicer in your hand for some reason. Um, it actually feels like the old Vokeys used to feel. Probably for about ten, ten my, I think my night was about ten years old when I had it. Um, but well, that's what I would say, it probably feels a bit like that. The other ones feel a bit clump clumpison, clumpison is that a word? Just feel a bit heavy. I'll just show you the uh, Cleveland lined up with the ball so you can see it. Obviously not having a cameraman, doesn't help, so hang on. size of the heads as well. That one that moving there is the Cleveland. And that one is the Vokey. So the one I'm moving now is the Cleveland and then that is the Vokey one. And It just goes to show that the Vokey has got a bigger head. I suppose it's got a bigger sweet spot. But I quite like the smaller head on it for some reason on a wedge. But it's your call. Out the Cleveland or the new Vokey wedges, I think I'd probably go for the Cleveland. Just because of the smaller head. But I'm no expert. I'm not a professional. I'm a 22 handicapper. That's just my opinion of what I think would work for me. Whether it worked for you, I don't know. But um, go out your local range, your local pro shop, see if you can hit one and see what you think yourselves. But uh, yeah, sorry guys, not the best video in the world, but you know, we're learning and uh, trying to do this on your own is quite hard. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And. Uh, We'll catch you soon. Cheers for watching. Bye guys.